welcome 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 back uh, to our channel this is naturally divine goddess also known as shauna um welcome welcome back if this is your return in time or if this is your first time welcome to our channel uh, hopefully you will find a home here um of some good um uplifting motivating inspiring type of messages spirit messages and today i'm coming with you all goddesses and gods um pick your uh crystal pick your deck pick your whatever <laughs> but pick uh pick your crystal for this full moon that is actually tonight um depending on where you are in this world but um i guess we're just gonna go ahead and get started because this has been on me for a while to do and i was meditating before and spirit was like look do this and don't um drag your feet so <laughs> I got to work and I was obedient. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe um, and hit that notification bell to let you know when new um, videos are being uploaded. And also, don't forget to check me out on Mondays and Thursdays when I go live. Um, Monday, I go live with um, our daily tea talk and your weekly Zodiac um, readings and as a collective also tarot readings as well as on thursdays i am with my brother from another mother sonora mystic tarot and um um we are uh, on thursday mornings yeah i was about to say thursday something something else <laughs> but thursday mornings and we are doing free readings there so um feel free to um catch us out on there and come in for the chat even on Monday, come in for the chat. Let me know what tea you are sipping on. And you can um, see me there at, I, I should have said the time beforehand, but Mondays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Thursdays, uh, 10 a.m. as well, Eastern Standard Time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you picked um this particular crystal i love this crystal um this is a great meditation um crisp crystal it's very um um vibrational this is troll light um oh, it's so pretty <laughs> but you can definitely feel the energy uh troll light has high vibrational and smoothing um restful vibrations um, it's energy assists you to connect to the higher realms in meditation quite easily. It also assists with you going deeper into your meditation to receive guidance from supreme beings. Um, its action definitely boosts your spirituality and to aid spiritual healing and awakening is extremely powerful so if you definitely pick this one you have some strong um, and you want to go deeper you want to um, you know keep reaching and keep learning and you want to connect even uh, deeper with your your guides and even you know your spiritual beings whoever they may be or even with self so you definitely um, are a strong person or and you might be going through an awakening at that um, and needing some help so let's go ahead and see I will do the um, the deck last and see what spirit has for you um, for this full moon actually And let me know in the comments how you and how your reach rituals went um, as well for the full moon or what your ritual is for the full moon. Let's go ahead. And let me move my mouse out the way. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say. So you have the seven of wands here. 
The seven of wands is, you know, overcoming your challenges. This is definitely persevering and really stepping up and saying, I got this. I am on top of all of this. Um, whatever the challenges was or whatever the obstacles were, you now have literally found the solution and now you are definitely getting it in check. And that is really awesome for this full moon. Um, you know, and, it's, and th this full moon is all about releasing and letting go and um that no what no longer serves you but definitely this full moon in leo what this is bringing this is bringing in a new beginning this is bringing in something that is really um positive and and what you're doing is in, in your magic and you're definitely overcoming that you have literally you know um you, you're you're you are if you haven't already, you're rising above your situation. And if you have already, you definitely on top of your on top of your game. You are definitely making sure that you are keeping everything in check and that um that you really not gonna take no more crap. You you're done with dealing with being stuck, being in a toxic situation, or just being, you know, um in, in, a, in a bad place, in a negative spot, now you are ready. You are ready to take it on. And this is a seven. So you're like past the halfway mark. You, you're moving forward in this. You have the strength when it comes to the... Um, uh, the the strength card you have the you have the courage you have the way of making sure that um, you are being protected you are now in that protection type of feel like I am fearless but at the same time I am patient um, and and know that you being patient you are definitely getting all the um, uh, all the, your desires and your goals, your goals are definitely being accomplished and you are definitely achieving them. The Queen of Wands here is, you know, being definitely in control, but also knowing um, that patience is, you know, up for grabs, but you are not taking um, like no for an answer. You are living in your truth. You are definitely... Um, um, overcame that obstacle um and now you are sitting on that throne you have that feminine um uh type of power now you are literally tapped into being in control and and being vulnerable all at the same time but being hella confident you know what i mean this is a queen so you are definitely definitely being confident in that way where you are still being compassionate um, as well and knowing that this is your power this is your creativity this is all your ideas of of, of com making or having things come together in, in a way that benefits you you have a nine of wands here the nine of wands is definitely perseverance I mean like you know protecting yourself um, building, building your future, building, um, what you see that is best for you. You are definitely tapping in and, in your gifts and knowing your strength. Now you, you, you came from a seven and now you at a nine. And then on top of that, I'll just look down. You have another nine, a nine of cups here. So you're, so you're, um, um, confidence is super up. You are definitely trusting the process. You're trusting yourself as well. You're trusting the fact that you are um, uh, uplifting and knowing that this is your magic. This is what it takes from you to uh, and putting that work in. You have put that work in. You know, right, right here, you have definitely, definitely put that work in in a way where no one no one is taking it away from you ever um on on top of that um which is which is super duper sorry about that but here we go 
um, definitely with this nine of cups being here, that nine of cups is, is, is really, really speaking to that, um, you got this in attitude. Okay. So when you have picked this deck, you picked this deck for a reason, um, to, because you are now ready for this new spiritual awakening that you are going through this awakening um, and being guided. You are being divinely guided and, and spirit is giving you that strength and, and spirit already knows you already have that strength. All right. So let's see with your Oracle card say temptation, temptation. So you are, and you most likely will be, um, um, have some torp type of temptation that will try to pull you back in, try, try not too much of back in, but back out, um, and, and doing the old, old ways, the old things, the, uh, the old way of thinking, thinking negative to negatively, um, and, and that can be tempted. This can be a relationship that's a ex that's trying to come in and, and bring some, you know, that noise back in and say, you know, I swept you off your feet before I can do it again type of situation. And with that, you know, spirit is, is, is like, no, keep moving forward. I got you. I'm leading you. Um, as I say that there's two ducks and one is leading the way and the other is following. And I, I feel like that is a metaphor for spirit leading you the right way and keeping you on your path. Um, yet you are, uh, one, let's see, it looks like one candle is almost getting blown out, but that other one is like still there. And, and it's like that dark side is trying to creep back up. Um, but don't allow it. Don't listen to the pessimism. Don't be tempted to, um, those, those old patterns. Keep going forward as use this moon energy to, and, and that's where, she, and what's so amazing is that's what, you know, what's right here. This is the moon. Okay. And this looks like a full moon because it's bright. So definitely use this full moon to release things that you feel that will be pulling you back, things that um, no longer serve you in no type of way and no fashion, letting it go all the way. You have the um, pay attention to signs card. Okay. Pay attention to what spirit is telling you. Pay attention to um, uh, synchronicity, period, because it's, 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 it's being brought out in the open as plain as day it can be words you listening to um from reading a book or reading an article or listening to music that is um it, it that hits you differently differently but definitely you are that one to bring light to dark you are that one to make change. You are that one to bring in change and recognize, see, it's the owl here. The owl is definitely about wisdom. Let me see. There we go. The, 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 the owl is definitely, um, about wisdom. And then you have the, you know, the, um, the, the grave here. So there's change that's, that you, that's coming in. That is to me, that is death. That is like the old you. And now you are, um, paying attention to how you move. You are becoming more aware of how you, um, proceed and, and you, do, and this is like that conscious type of, um, that conscious, awareness okay when it comes to the sadness sadness it's going to come because you are going to paint yourself new um and that that feel and that's a five and, and I, with this i feel like this is like um that inner conflict because that you know that you need to change and because that you know that it, it, this has to be, and, uh, situations has to change for the better for you to come out 
of this sadness that you are going to be leaving um you know some folks behind or leaving uh, situations that are, are are toxic you're going to be leaving those behind and this is, can be a lonely journey at first but trust and believe you're not alone spirit is is guiding you spirit is um uh, uh using you and giving you all this wisdom and knowledge as well to um uh, to to be to to be more aware um and to go through this awakening um and and this is a strong one uh, coming around this time during this full moon of this awakening, you are getting all these downloads in your dreams. They're becoming so vivid. Um, your meditations, you are, you know, you're really, really tapping into your gifts, gifts that you didn't ever think that you had. And, and yet you woke up the next day and you're like, oh my gosh, where did this gift come from? Um, in some cases, some will be meeting their soulmate. Um, and that soulmate can, can be a past person that you've already met um beforehand um that's for some not for all <laughs> that picked this um but definitely with the soulmate you you are tapping into um a person that connects on the same level as you that uplifts you and what i love about this this is here once again the full moon energy you know and and if if you put that out there and said that look you know i want someone to be my soulmate and i and i, I want to run into my soul i want my soulmate then nine times out of ten universe is going to to deliver that to you but in this case, um, it can be um, as well as you connecting back with self and knowing that um, your soulmate is on the way type of feel. Um, and, and for this is just really uh, bring it in that balance, okay? Really bring it in the balance and harmony and having that connection. This is, this is that that type of connection that you are yearning for that intimacy and that soulmate could be your higher self you tapping in to um with the divine with this um with this energy okay wild this is coming out of the dark and being free and going with the flow this is coming out of the out of the woods per se to allow yourself to be guided um this is stepping out knowing that you are 100 percent ready 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 all of these are ready <laughs> that you have overcame your obstacles you have overcame um your challenges everything that was um uh put on you that was so heavy heavy you are now coming out of the situation you are now coming um out and, and you you are following your intuition you are going with what you feel and you have so much passion for self to be better that you are literally coming out of the shadows and 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 you bring in that light into yourself this is all about this pile right so far it's nothing about it's all about um um going through this beautiful awakening letting go how perfect is that letting go of things that uh, that's negative that temptation of bringing you back but you had that strength to keep um, going forward and I believe this is a Celtic um, um, Celtic cross and this is definitely uh, uh, you moving forward and having that strength and that and for you to continue to rely on um, the divine continue to lie on on rely on spirit to move forward you are stepping out of the dark and you are coming into light that each one of them each one of these these are you are bringing that light you are the light all right um like right here boom you know you are the light with the with your soulmate you are the light here of letting go you are the light in in, in the darkness so you have done some shadow work a little bit and now it is time to literally come 
out of the dark. Look here. <laughs> Look in here. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is definitely um, a, a new opportunity, a, a new um a new idea, a new big, huge idea. Some um, information is definitely coming your way where this is uh, really honing into your creativity, you and, and your magic and you, your power. This is this is um, a, a, a new possibility, a new uh, a, a new a new beginning. That's what I've been looking for. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> But definitely a new beginning. You have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords is is that self restriction, that self um, limitation, and you ha you have to know that uh, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And for and f this is the only way to do it. And and you're doing it blindly, but yet you are still being guided. There's light right here. You are the only one that's keeping yourself in here. What's stopping you um from 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 the the comfortness of your um of your safe haven if you're not willing to take a risk. And when you do take your risk, this risk is already uh uh it's going to be successful. It's going to succeed. Okay, look at there, the queen of coins, definitely owning your power. This is that um, I'm bringing in that financial abundance as well. My creativity has done it because I was vulnerable and I am vulnerable and I am being out there um, in the open of who I truly am and trust that my power, my magic, my my uh, inner guidance and my wisdom and my knowledge and me being divinely guided has brought me here and to see that when the queen of coins um, uh, with that power um, and and knowing that your creativity definitely definitely brought this uh, uh, upon you with your desires but this is that that um, you know that that confidence that's knowing that yet yet you are in control and that you are um uh, moving in a way where you surrender to spirit and allow spirit to guide you and allow and you released and let go of what no longer serves you even when it comes to surrounding yourself with people all right the seven of uh, wands is here the seven of wands is definitely you know um you laying down this strong foundation you are now f have fixed these things that were um um you have overcame, literally, you have overcame your obstacles. I wanted to say something else about fixing something, but yet you you found that solution, and now you know what it takes to um, keep yourself grounded, but yet you are being guided by and, and having the strength as well with the Seven of Wands. But you are um, making sure that not just your uh, self is happy, but definitely you making others um, happy by making sure um, if it wasn't for your type of work, then this A, B, and C doesn't get done. That was for someone. <laughs> and that someone had to uh, say it. But this is definitely all about um, that hard work that you, have, that you are putting in um, and laying that strong foundation and smoothing out all this rockiness, all this um, instability, and that you are making it more stable um, and and really, really stepping up, okay? The Hierophant, what, look at there. The Hierophant is definitely, you know, going into the um, being more traditional, but also having homage to your ancestors and to your um, to your guides and and 
and using their knowledge to help you um, to manifest your desires and, and to and this is also um, spiritual openness. This is definitely opening yourself up spiritually wise to allow spirit to um, use you in a way where this is your gifts and um, and with that and, and and trusting definitely trusting your intuition and trusting spirit on guiding you um, through this nine of cups nine of cups is all about that focus um, it, it is literally staying focused and being present in the moment um, and and making sure that you are being present uh, and enjoying life enjoying what's in front of you um, and being focused on your true goals and your true happiness with the, with the nine and and the, also the nine um, indicates uh, you know the the ending so you're going through this cycle of bringing yourself back up going through this awakening and now you come in with the first card being um, the ace of wands coming into this new beginning this new self this new way of thinking of of how that this is um uh just a total different feel of who you truly are and what your gifts actually brings to the table okay you got the king of coins the king of coins is definitely bringing in the security having the security this can be um you uh taking your time to build and 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 literally setting into your roots but you have been uh divinely guided into this position uh of security financial security at that um instability so um when it comes to if your finances was a little off they're coming back together uh and this is you putting it back together this is because these are your ideas if you're an entrepreneur if you are um um you know um getting a promotion promotion or someone uh you know left their left a left the job and you would have never thought that you will be moving into this new job new department um, this is definitely letting that past go of, of what you used to, what you used to do and now you do something different. Um, this can be um, definitely um, you, you going at your own pace and making this work. And you did. And um, I, I guess, what is it? Every rabbit doesn't win the race or something? I don't know. But the tortoise wins the race? I probably didn't say that right <laughs> but this is definitely um you owning that power and being on that abundance on on financial wise um having that security and that that is really um great the two of wands the two of wands you have a decision to make but this is also about taking action you know staying on on point on gear uh, uh, to keep moving um, but your focus is a little off because you don't know which way to go with this you don't know you're going this way or you're going that way and you're not looking forward um, at all but know that this is about your future this is how you um, you're thinking about what to do um, if you want to take this position or if you don't want to take this position, you're going to probably be offered two positions and you're like, wait, which one do I want? You know, um, definitely this is this is um, concerning which way to go in that aspect. But so but definitely take an action and, and continue to move forward because that's that move movement going forward. Um, uh, onto your desires and onto your um, uh, your dreams and and being fruitful and coming into fruition. You have the Empress card. The Empress card is definitely which I love when the Empress shows up. 
definitely um, about the divine and trusting the divine that's using you. And I definitely love that um, and being guided and knowing that um, uh, you have what you have or you are uh, being compassionate, more compassionate to this process, to what's going on, um, and, and, and allowing yourself to be led by spirit. I keep saying that because spirit is saying, look, let me lead you. Let me lead you to what you are wanting and what you want to bring into your life. And I got you. I got you. I promise you I will not leave you hanging. Just let me, just let go. Let go of that tight hold and I got you. And the the empress being here is that, um, okay, all right, let me surrender. Let me, um, you took that breath and you now are seeing that inner peace and that awakening, that spiritual awakening with that higher power um, and, and knowledge that you are receiving. Four of Cups. Four of Cups, once again, stay focused on filling um, the cup up that needs it the most. All right, you got a couple different options that's in front of you probably, but you're not looking at the fact that uh, one cup is being neglected. And it brings in um, the abundance, the answer, the clarity, the... Um, the opportunity that you ha are looking for um and it is it is there so definitely um spirit is trying to give you this this gift as well and say listen here i'm giving you what you asked for but you don't want it <laughs> you're not focusing on what you truly want you're focusing on what others is telling you you should be focusing on and this is definitely going into your 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 deeper power your higher power your um uh, uh really meditating deeper with spirit and allow spirit to use you um hence why you picked the uh troll light all right so i got your angel cards is here as well creative writing Archangel Gabriel, here we go, back in the camera, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book, okay? This is this is really um, about, you know, pull that journal back out, and if you put it up or if you haven't written it in, in, in a while, bring it back out and write down those thoughts because you are going to be do getting some major um, life-changing ideas that's coming your way, um, definitely. Um, through meditation, through your dreams, through music, through, um, they're going to communicate, pay attention th to those signs, write your thoughts down, trust your intuition and what you are thinking and, and is, is, is right. And your feeling healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthy diet and get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimum, opt, optimal health. So make sure you're doing some self-care. If your eating habits has been off, if you're not drinking a lot of water, um, make sure you are, um, you know, really fill your cup back up where that you are not depleting yourself because the spirit has a lot for you to do. Uh, spirit needs you healthy. Spirit needs you to take care of your body every in every way change up the things that you have been eating if you have been eating straight fried food now come on change it up <laughs> eat some baked food or um you know if if some needed to hear that it's time for you to go uh, as a vegetarian or go vegan trust that if things is tearing your stomach up for a reason it's for a reason is it's not for you and and definitely while you going through this spiritual awakening spirit wants you pure and clear and where um 
you can uh, you can have that DNA activated and you can be clearer and be more open to what spirit is telling you all right and clear sentence essence sentence clear sense sentence <laughs> I am so off today. Uh, Archangel Ragul, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Oh, definitely bring in, that is making sure that healthiness, that healthy bite. I have to sign. I'm outside this time, y'all. Uh, there we go. There we go. Anywho, make sure that you are noticing those signs. Make sure, and then once you are, you know, write those feelings down. And it, and it's okay to feel like you are going through this emotion. And it's okay to address it. Acknowledge it. Don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself. Just allow it to happen. And know that um, the ones that keep happening over and over and over again, those are signs from um, spirit saying, look, you need to fix this because this is going to come back up um, and and know that sp spirit is really trying to guide you in a way where this no longer serves you. So use this full moon tonight, do a burn ceremony, do whatever you do to release and bring back in. If you, if you need help, there will be um, Sonora Mistero and A5 says it's going to be on live tonight at um, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they, that, that before they do the free readings, they are going to definitely um, do the full moon ritual and that you are now guided you were guided into that so uh definitely check them out and it's on the sonora mystic tarot youtube channel and twitch as well and they are really really cool they have so much fun so make sure you do catch them on wednesday tonight and every wednesday as well um so i hope this brought some clarity of what the full moon brings in for you uh, if you have picked this uh, troll light here, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I will have them in the the timestamps down so that you will know, um, you know, and you can go straight to the the message of what you were um, trying or which one that you have picked. Um, thank you, uh, gods and goddesses. Until the next time, peace and blessings. All right. Now, if you have picked the malachite, which is a beautiful stone, I, I love this stone. It's great with um, manifestation. It's great with um, definitely your heart. The uh, malachite clears and activates the chakra. It um, and it attunes to spiritual guidance it opens the heart to unconditional love um, encourage risk taking and change there we go breaks unwanted ties and outworn um, patterns and teaches how to take responsibility for up uh, for one's actions thoughts and feelings so definitely um, if you have picked this one that's what it activates it is uh, it activates the chakras um, and um, it helps you take risks. If, you, if you're ready to take a risk right now, if you are looking for that opportunity, this is the reason why you picked this particular um, crystal. It's great to work with. I do. It keeps you motivated, but it also helps facilitate um, that energy of fearlessness um, and and keep that energy all the way up so i like working with the malachite especially on new projects or um 
just me staying, you know, motivated completely. <laughs> so definitely, um, if you have picked this crystal, I will uh, read those oracle cards at the end. So let's go ahead and see for the full moon what what this energy is um, bringing in for you all because you picked this particular deck, the Malachite deck. All right. So, I saw it before, but I didn't think it was going to pop out. And then we're going to have this one, too. So, let me go ahead and pull. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, I don't know why I flipped all of them over except that one. Here we go. We have the Nine of Swords. There has been, you know, some sleepless nights you're not sleeping as well as you are you have some things that's literally on your mind of what to do how to do this uh, or or if this situation good for me is it toxic how to move during this uh relationship or i just don't know what to do i have this job that sucks and i don't know if i really want to do this or not or you know what what is it truly that you um, um, want want to what your desires and this is like messing with you mentally all right um, definitely definitely messing with you mentally where um, it has you uh, in this in this stuck spot and that you are so confused you're waking up you're grumpy because you, you haven't slept well and this has been on your mind and spirit here is saying let it go okay you have the hang one here let it go surrender it um so use this full moon to surrender what no longer serves you um and and allow yourself to to uh be free from that um because you're the only one that's holding on you know what i mean and spirit wants you to let it go so surrender to spirit meditate um but that hang one is here for you to let it go all right you have the four of wands here celebrate so now this could be something that is coming your way as i look more at at the at the um at the cars it could be a, a a relationship where it's not um um working out too much and you really need to let it go and then celebrate that point of being free from that um celebrate yourself celebrate um with others that uplift you now this can be um uh, you in a relationship and and you have this event coming up and and um th this this whole marriage coming up it can be that and you really should let go of the control and let the your your planner or whoever that's in charge let them um do what they do and for you not to um be bothered so that you can allow yourself to um celebrate but as well as um, a, a business, this can be um, celebrating the, uh, you know, a new deal and and not worrying if you, you know, went for this job interview and you're like, I, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. But I don't know. I don't know if, how, how well I did or anything. Spirit is saying, let it go. It's already out there. And then you 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 receive that news you receive that call that you got the job and you are now celebrating but celebrate because um spirit wants you to make sure that you are being definitely you you being present okay and being in the moment of now now you have the four of swords here the four of swords is saying you need to rest and relax and to recuperate um, and, and get back into yourself. Um, but here comes with that sleep. You need to go, you need to spend time alone um, and, and let things, um, let them be 
And so, because it's bringing in, in confusion for you right now. It's bringing that confusion in that um, is keeping you definitely in your head type of situation. Um, um, even when it comes to the job thing um, and when when you don't let go, you hold on and you miss out a celebration. You sell, you, you miss out a, a union, a time to be uplifted and you go to being confused. But you need to relax. Relax. You might be going to, um, you might be, okay. Okay. Thank you, spirit. You might be um, getting ready to go on a trip. And this trip is someone getting married or a, 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 um, some type of big celebration. And you're, you're trying to figure out how you're going to get there. And spirit is like, let it go. Let it go. I got you. you. You said you wanted to go. I got you. But yet you're like, you're worrying yourself about it. Okay. And with this, um, it is saying like, you're going to get there. You just need to, and then once you get there, that you relax. And spirit is, is, is opening an opportunity for you to finally be relaxed. Now this, if you pick this, um, once again, this crystal, it is definitely getting you motivated to, um, uh, and, and really tapping into your chakras and to awaken them so that you can be guided all right you have the eight of swords here the eight of swords you're feeling like there's a self-imprisonment that you that you are worrying yourself so much that you just don't know what to do in a way like well fine if 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 it's going to stop me from going then i i'm not going so that's that negative talk that's that um that negativeness that comes through as well now this can be um um, you, you literally beating yourself up and, and keeping those limitations up around you. And at any moment you can walk, uh, walk around, step out of it, but yet spirit is saying, trust you are still, you know, uh, you know, listening to your intuition because that, that is it that is so strong and and spirit is trying to guide you um in, in that way of 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 wanting to be guided okay but you have to let go of the control you have to let go of what um what what what's limiting you from moving forward all right. You have the inner child here. Inner child is definitely, um, you know, you having a little conflict with yourself, um, like almost throwing a tantrum <laughs> of, of things not going your way and where um, it's really messing you up in your mind. But your inner child, look at it in this way. Your inner child wants to come out and play. And, and this is a reminder to you the, for the ones that picked this um, crystal um, that you have to bring in that youthfulness and to be playful, to bring play back into your um, into your life. Now, for some, this is this is a healing moment, okay? Um, and this is saying your inner child is speaking out to you because there is something that you need to release. Um, <laughs> the hang one need to release and, and surrender so that you can enjoy life the way you are supposed to enjoy. Okay. Help from above. Seeing spirit is really, really, and look, there is a full moon here and um, spirit is definitely um, saying, let, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it freaking go. So, and of the control and know that you bring peace. That spirit is going to bring peace to your, to your life. 
uh, to your to your situation to what's going on with you right now but you are receiving help from uh, from the divine from spirit and allow yourself to uh, let me hear that word allow yourself to receive okay spirit is, is not asking for any money spirit is not asking for anything but your time um to sit and and to know and you know what it is that you need to release and release that use this full moon energy tonight um in leo because this is bringing in new beginnings um and and definitely tap in to the energy of of releasing and letting go and being back with one with spirit with the divine with your higher self you know to your source to your higher source spirit is asking for that connection and you receiving that help you're not doing this alone you're not going through this journey alone especially when it comes to the inner child and this could be a little bit of trauma that has happened or uh, that ha have have you know that you have been through um in this life or past life or whatever and it's still here but it comes up you need to you got to address it and it's no more sweeping it up under the rug okay no more of that now take in to to what spirit is how spirit is guiding you okay sorry I had to take a had to take some get some water <laughs> all right spirituality um spirituality comes up because you know this is about you tapping in to your spirituality to your feminine side in a way where this is self-love okay tap into that um that sacral energy okay um which is the the uh your second chakra that's your sacral your sacral your your sacral chakra tap into that because that's where your creativity sits in you know or for some it's time for you to be intimate if this is you looking for that sign of if i should you know have him or have her you know get some of these cookies then <laughs> <laughs> then you have that sign to do so. I mean, here, here it goes right here, but definitely tap into your, and, and as I see this, uh, serpent here, this, the snake, that is like that Kundalini energy, tap into that energy, tap into your creativity. Um, literally like go deep, open up your Kundalini, um, and, and really discover who you truly are and allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to, because, you know, um, I don't want to say, but it doesn't, it's like a sheer dress. So allow yourself to be vulnerable and transparent, but also trust the process, trust this journey that spirit has you going on. All right. Pride. Now we have the death and, and the, uh, uh, life um, here now pride can can kill you <laughs> in, in a way um, but too much pride you know it doesn't allow you to enjoy life it doesn't allow you to um, see it the way um, uh, spirit intend for you to see it because this once again this is free will and Pride is ego. So pride is a little bit of, of struggle with change and knowing that this is only, it's not even the whole of all of her, you know what I'm saying? So it's only like the collar, it's like the shoulder bone and half of her face and not even the, the whole, but like ha not even half, but it, it's controlling you. It's con if you allow this, the ego to step in um, because of this change and allow yourself the free will once again you have free will but use your willpower to overcome that pride all right um have faith have faith and trust trust the divine trust the path trust and, and keep looking 
forward. Once again, you have help from above, okay? You have help from above. And and spirit is like, have faith. The things that you have put out there, and if it hasn't came back or hasn't came to you, there's divine timing. But have faith that the situation is going to be better, okay? Alchemy. Believe in your magic. You have the magic. You are the magic. You carry the light. You carry the secrets. You ca this is in your DNA. This is in your passion. This is what who you are. You are light. You are um, the ultimate alchemist. You you have so many gifts to share with this world, but yet you know what it takes and and that hard work and when it comes to you putting that out there that is you that's what are you are doing already i love this um um for my malachites <laughs> I, I absolutely love this uh message for you all because this is definitely for so far what the oracles are saying is definitely tapping into and believing in your power not just tapping into it, but believe in your power. You have the Ten of Wands. Look at there. The Ten of Wands is definitely a, a cycle has ended. This is completion. This is now, um, uh, that, you see, the skull, the, that death. Now look at the roots. Now look at what you have planted. Now it's flourishing. It's not just keep flourishing, but the, the, the seeds that fall, the, the things that fall, you're also flourishing what's around you. And this took a long time coming, but now this burden and, and all this stress is leaving you. Um, and, and really tap into this full moon to release the things that you need to release and hold, don't hold on to. You have the page of swords here. The page of swords is, is definitely saying, you know, uh, um, uh, coming through with, um, with <clears throat> newer information, newer wisdom, but also saying, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I am, I am grounded. I am uh, in, in balance now. And I'm ready for whatever's coming my way. I am ready. And you have this opportunity to get ready. As I said that, there was a little tight, a little ring in my left ear. And uh, like in agreement with that. You are ready, Malachite. Um, and, and Malachite, you are ready for the ones that has picked the Malachite. <laughs> But yet you are ready to move on. You are ready to move forward. All right. The moon. Mm. The moon energy. Hello. But this is also bringing up some, I feel like, you know, a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of uh, fear and worry of how you're going to get there. This, 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 the people that have um, picked this um, deck is literally little afraid of what um what the unknown is and don't be afraid trust the moon trust this energy tap into your feminine side tap into that shadow side release the things that keep coming up that that spirit is telling you to release um definitely uh the inner child comes up for a reason when the inner child comes up for for a reason it's like okay your inner child your 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 inner self um, is, is speaking and there is trauma there that needs to be healed and you need to let go. You can't keep holding on to this. You have to move on. You have to move forward. So definitely when it comes to the, to the moon, use this energy to release and let go. If you need to burn it, burn it. You need to drown it, drown it. And then you have the five of cups here. The five of cups, you, 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 feeling like you're missing out on something you feeling like you have been you you're being let down in a way where you're not being included all the fun is going on inside and you're using this little bit of light here to keep you warm and all that but know that this is all of what that innerness that 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 fear is definitely coming through and and uh, uh, that frustration um, of, of feeling like you are miss, missing out on something that is, um, or like a missed opportunity, but that opportunity wasn't for you type of, type of deal. Now this opportunity that's coming your way, spirit has one 
bigger and better all right queen of cups hello stay patient here we go stay patient stay patient trust that the things that you are doing the the the, the ideas that's coming to your head you know trust that trust that um it was it was planted there from spirit for a reason and have patience of what's coming your way and 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 definitely um trust spirit okay um when it comes to um um this process for you i feel like uh uh you know when it comes to the queen of cups you know spirit is guiding you and this is all about divine timing definitely divine timing but you got this you have this the hermit card the hermit card is the you know virgo energy i know that because <laughs> i am a virgo but the hermit card is definitely that self-reflection going back into self and this is doing some deep healing doing some deep meditation and 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 also being spiritually guided all right um and and letting go go if you gotta go dark a little bit go dark and, and to yourself and when you go to yourself um allow that time allow space allow you are allowed you are allowed that um but let go of the control all right the knight of swords the knight of swords is once you let it go you are ready it's going to take off and when it takes off you are you are full steam ahead i love this because this is moving forward we are moving in a direction where now you can you you ready and you have this passion you have this passion to this is the night now you're about you 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 on your way to you know being the king or or queen but definitely you're on the way to the ultimateness you are definitely knowing that look i got to put a move on it and i have to go i have to do this now now some may um for some some will be moving out of this uh, and move into uh, something that is way better but um but definitely and and, it, and it's gonna be quick and it's gonna be very hasty you know what i mean and that's what the night is about um so definitely spirit is is getting you definitely prepared um for this newness that's coming through for you the eight of cup what i just say you're going on this journey <laughs> And I said some are going to be moving. I did not look at any of these cards. I promise you I did not. <laughs> and um you are you are ready. You are ready to 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 allow yourself to be guided. You have let those things that no longer serve you have left them behind. And now this is an eight, okay? So you are almost there. You are literally almost there to the end and to a completion okay and you are allowing yourself to be led by spirit so this is definitely that um uh spiritual guidance that that and is activating you for that to take that risk and to and to make this major and big change i'm surprised the tower card didn't come out uh, but look at there the emperor this is you being in control this is you um uh, that action that's that aries but definitely you being on top and and having this authority now um but you using this masculine energy you have used you you've tapped into your either you have used so much of your masculine energy and worked in that energy now the spirit is like okay it's now time for you to tap into the feminine side and to address some issues that keep coming up and that is like stopping you and blocking you um and keeping you stuck a little bit hence why we have the uh the nine of swords and having you confused now you are stepping up to this you you, you stepping up to the power and now you have tapped into the uh, the the feminine side and found that balance and harmony you have addressed some things that needed to be addressed you left some things behind now you're taking this journey and now you have arrived so i love this um love love it for you all 
of that Empress energy and judgment. This is a rebirth. Oh my gosh. Judgment is definitely that spiritual awakening, that spiritual opening. But the most important word was rebirth. You are a, a new, you are this new person. Let's see what your uh, angel card says. Life review. Take inventory, Archangel General. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced what did i just what was i just saying everyone <laughs> i was just saying my loves you are definitely with this hermit card that's what the hermit card is 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 about right here is about that that review that that inventory that self inventory and to make sure that you are in check and archangel jeremo is definitely call upon him have him work with you help you know um and he will he will definitely um help you realize what it is that you need to release and work on and heal all right take your power back archangel razzle use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life you already been doing it and 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 literally take your power back this is something that you have gave all this energy to to others this is now time for you to get back into self and for you th now to show what self-love is okay now i was going to say um about the self-love but spirit wanted me to say it just like that now if this is true self-care this is true self-love all right and in order to do that what you got to do take your power back all right uh clear cognizance you have this gift y'all archangel air euro pay attention to your thought to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers spirit is answering you um and all you have to do is listen that's it that is it just listen and spirit is guiding you uh you did not pick this for no reason because it's pretty and green oh, that, that, that could have been or that could be your favorite color but you was drawn to it for this reason to know what your gift is and if you're not already using this gift if you're not already paying attention to what spirit is telling you this is the gift that is about to come your way. So definitely pay attention to your thoughts. And look at there. Why not with the inner child? Indigo and crystal children. Archangel Megatron. You have a bond with children in particular. Um, you can help children who are sensitive. And this is you. Uh, this is definitely you. You are either an indigo or a crystal baby child. <laughs> and you definitely um connect with others if you already don't connect with children um but other ones that um is needing help and that is needing um some attention to help uh uh heal and to help figure out life period so look in L look within take that self uh inventory do that review and it's nothing wrong with doing that review right now um and release during this full moon because definitely that is coming up for this um uh, for the malachite deck all right so if you haven't already please like and subscribe i greatly 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 appreciate it um until the next time gods and goddesses peace and blessings all right next crystal last but not least but this is the sunstone i should have been ready with my um definition all right here we go um the sunstone i have like my notes over here everyone <laughs> but i like working with this real quick let me give you a little quick background of why i like this particular stone there we go it was kind of out of focus but this is all the sun energy okay so this is like a masculine type of stone where um you ready to take some action is ready to produce all of that <laughs> it's ready for you to put a move on it now the sunstone properties are connected to the energy of the sun the crystals bright 
uh, positive energy uh, aligns your mind, body, and spirit with high vibrations. If you're stuck, listen now, if you're stuck and in a rut, working with the frequencies of the sunstone, um, meaning can awaken within you a fire, fiery energy like that of the sun. I love this. It is uplifting. It can bring passion, excitement, and creativity back into your life when you've lost the touch with your, um, with your feelings. Uh, whether you feel like you're living on autopilot or feel overwhelmed with darkness, the sunstone crystal shines a light on all opportunities for happiness and joy that surround you. Okay. So this is, that was a little, a, a long, um, <laughs> a long definition, but it, it hit the nail on the head of definitely bringing things back into play and literally lighting that, um, um, that energy up and lighten that fire energy on top of that uh, for you. So if you have picked this stone, this is your deck and I will read your Oracle cards at the end. Um, also, um, let's go ahead and do the reading for this full moon. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I just did not. <laughs> okay, so what we have here, I do apologize if you hear anything in the background. I am outside, y'all. It's so beautiful in Florida. So let's go ahead and get started. The Seven of Wands. Hello, this is all about uh, overcoming and rising above your situation, rising above your obstacles, um, um, being on top of of everything that um, that puts you through, that had put you through whatever. But this is definitely uh, you putting everything back in check. And the things that were uh, a challenge to you, you are now, uh, you, you're, you know, you're in the, in the, in a way of taking it on. Like, okay, come on, let's go type of thing. And you do it gracefully <laughs> as I say that. Um, but yet, um, you are at this point in your life where you're not taking any more mess that you know that um, uh, your opinion, your thoughts, your ideas um, matters, okay? And now you are building yourself um, um, for the ones that was trying to come at you. You are now on top of it. You are definitely... Um, you know, get, you know, Satan, get behind me type of thing. You are not letting that negative talk come in. You are definitely staying positive and, uh, persevering through, um, through the situation. Now, what's so awesome about here is the ace of pentacles. You are definitely being offered a, um, either a, uh, a job opportunity where you have been putting and going on so many, um, uh, interviews and things like that. And now you are like, uh, uh, I, did I get it? Did I get it? And you got it. This is definitely, um, the promotion that you have been looking for. This is, uh, uh, just a new beginning altogether. Uh, and this is like a financial type of thing. This is definitely bringing in some, some, um, stability here. And that this is what you have been looking for. Also, um, and this is, this is what you have manifested. All right. And this has definitely brought you, uh, closer to your goal, whatever it may be. Uh, but, uh, uh, another, it could be, a um, a, a possibility of a new deal or something where it's going to bring in some money. All right. The full energy is definitely saying, take that risk be spontaneous. This is all divine. This is the right way to go. Um, this, you are being guided to do this, to accept. And, and this was, um, something that if you was looking for clarity on, I like the full energy because this is also indicating that new beginning 
and being some look at it as the fool being careless but it's not being careless in this case i feel like it is you are being on point you you know that if you don't take this risk it won't get um it won't move but being that the sun is out and it's bright and and everything it this is positive this is a positive type of move this is a positive type of thing so if okay thank you spirit so if this is definitely saying um something about moving if it's got you where you have to move um and and for you to you know pack your stuff up and go then then that's what you do <laughs> that's what you do some might tell you don't do it don't go don't don't jump don't take the job or you're going to be away from your family or whatever um, but this is a bigger opportunity and this is all about you at the end of the day this is your life and and not anyone else's because you have put that you have done all the hard work you have put that out there all right you have the temperance card this is definitely you know um um I feel as as also being patient, but also this new positive, um, positive uh, uh, possibility. I was wanting to say opportunity as well because that's what one was trying to be said. But this is being um, vulnerable and in, in a way where you're trusting your intuition you're trusting what spirit is telling you and you're allowing yourself to be guided but at the same time when the temperance comes up it's a reminder to be patient now the two of cups is here this is a togetherness this is a union this is definitely um um this could be a relationship this is definitely can be where your significant other or your partner or husband whoever or wife um has received a new job opportunity and you are confused of what to do and this is about um you want to be together you know trust and we come in it, this is a, a union um this can also be um you tapping into your uh, uh this can be a spiritual union as well when it comes to two of cups but this is all positive this is definitely really taking the uh the the step up of uh spirit um hooking you up per se with someone that will is going to help you with the information that you have been seeking and and you sharing your gift and them sharing their gift with with you sharing that knowledge as well okay so let's go ahead and just get started in the uh, oracle cards okay sexual arts okay so this is when i see the sexual arts it's it can be that as well <laughs> but it can also be about the focus okay um sexual arts is definitely the um uh, when i see the orange here um as i saw i, I believe it was in the first pile in the troll light pile they had sexuality and this here is all about that um letting that explode per se <laughs> when the volcano is, is erupting but this is your sacral open your sacral up all right open your sacral up work with this sacral and 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 allow yourself to uh be free um allow yourself to um release <laughs> as as the as the fire comes in allow that passion to be ignited okay um when that comes up um but um definitely tapping into um yourself differently um when it comes to um what no longer serves you uh for some reason that popped up but definitely tap into what uh will bring you the happiness that will open you up completely of your creativity and allow that creativity to come through for you but for me i'm, I'm keeping it pg ish <laughs> y'all so definitely with the um uh this the, with the sexual arts i see you know the sacral and and also the root this is also grounding yourself and allowing yourself to be taken higher higher up in 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 uh but also remain 
grounded, but having that harmony as well as the masculine and feminine energy. All right. Now, discover your life purpose. Now, you do you understand that each one so far has been, you know, uh, the the masculine and the and the um, feminine, a male and a female. Um, that's all. That's indicating that um, that balance, that um, that togetherness, but also a representation of the two of cups. I feel when it comes to um, having someone help you with your your purpose, your gift of finding that and working with spirit with that, of finding what your life purpose is, and right here is 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 speaking to. Um, to music, to the arts of being creative. Okay. This is really you tapping into your creative side and, uh, and spirit is, is, is guiding you. If you can see the spirit in the, um, in, in the, in the wisp, I guess, <laughs> but you bring harmony in where, um, spirit wants to uplift you and inspire you all right so definitely this journey is is all about discovering your life purpose and use this full moon for that you know love look at here once again that togetherness um to me i feel like this is the lover's card i feel like um when when this comes up um, that's balance and compassion as well as the harmony as well, but bringing in you, what your true love is unconditional love. And, and it seems like she's holding, um, some type of pendant with like some magic potion. And then there's a glass and then it looks like a voodoo doll there. Um, but him the the male in the picture is like looking and watching her knowing that regardless if you killed me or not i'm still going to love you so this is all about <laughs> unconditional love there's a story here everyone um but in this case this is unconditional love this is loving yourself knowing i'm not saying go kill your husband child i'm not or your significant other i'm not saying any of that <laughs> What I'm saying is that passion is there and allow yourself and, and it's green. So this is telling you to open your heart up, open your heart chakra up as well and to not be so possessive over um, attachments. Okay. Uh, if you can't have me, no one can type of thing, but this is like letting that go and letting it go of attachments. Okay. But this is also ushering in new love could be coming in as well for for some okay home and once again same pendant and it's the heart chakra um but what's at home what what makes you feel at home um and this can this can also mean that this is time for you to come home um, home is where the heart is, right? When it's, when it's the heart chakra, but this is you tapping into what is best for you. You discovering your, 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 um, your purpose, your life purpose and what your role is. But spirit is like calling you home, calling you back home to saying like, you know, there's these letters or so, or this book, this ancient book, or it could be diary. And, um, I can't tell if this is a shell or a letter, or this is something old, um, that's coming, but this is like ancient wisdom that's coming through. So really tap in, or this could be, um, as well as, uh, as, as receiving knowledge, um, and, and really going back home, or this can be for some, it's time to go home because you have been lost for so long, or this can be for others, uh, a sign to, I need to go home and check up on things, or I need to go home and, and check on my family, check on someone that is sick or, or something, but home is calling you. All right. Healing, 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 allow yourself to heal, allow that light because you contain the light and, um, and, 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 allow yourself to release release is going to heal you release 
and and as she's it's the fire so what i see is as you go through this healing process use this full moon energy to burn a list here's why i see this looks like a little piece of paper that she has written stuff down uh of of things that no longer serve you and release it burn it type of thing and and let it go so that you can do some healing to allow you to see that your uh that all this positiveness is here for you that you deserve better okay take you off your mask or mask that you that you portray in this in the world i believe that is a 11 so this is definitely you manifesting into something um of your true self this is spirit wants you to allow yourself to be true and you're authentic not you know um and it looks like you know she was a dancer at the same time she's trying to um be in a palace at the same time be some mistress uh or different type of of person but look how beautiful she is by showing who she truly is and that is what spirit is definitely trying to say um i also see the cat here the cat mask and to me i feel like tap into your that feminine side that feline side uh, per se and um to allow you to be who you truly are meant to be that goddess that uh definitely that goddess feel i feel from that so when it comes to the to the sunstone it is really uh saying all right let's get this this fire going let's 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 start to burn this fire and get this passion going okay the king of swords the king of swords is definitely this um this person that is definitely in control almost where you know where um you know what it takes you know all that blood sweat and tears all of that has brought you to um owning and and um owning your power and trusting your power and also being elegant kind of all at the same time ish <laughs> um but is a king kind of um um elegant when it comes to um getting through and cutting down things that um it's it's no longer for him or her or use this king energy use it like there's big ideas i mean huger ideas that's coming your way where you are now like those ideas has either elevated you in a way where I'm not saying you became smarter, but your knowledge is much deeper and it's and cuz you allow spirit to um help you discover what your true life purpose is, okay? You have the ace of coins. Yes, the ace of coins is definitely the ace of pentacles and that is a new financial opportunity because of those ideas because of that knowledge and because of that wisdom now it has taken you up to this new opportunity this new possibility of this newness um of a financial blessing of a financial opportunity to um be what is going to bring the stability and the security that you have been wanting into into your situation and and look at here the ace of cups oh wow the ace of cups is about filling your cup up and making sure that um and, and on top of that spirit is filling your cup up because you are allowing yourself to um be guided and you are and you're taking action all right and this is all about you bringing that action in um and, and that positiveness in but definitely you you're opening yourself up to love you're opening yourself up to compassion um when the ace of cups is here and that is also being delivered to you as well the three of coins this is definitely working with other folks to um help you with your skills but this is this is teamwork this is um you sharing 
you learning, but sharing your gift and, and someone is sharing it with you as well. But also um, bringing light in and keeping that positiveness up. But this can be working with a mentor um, that's going to help you with your skills and, and, and to uh, for you to help master them per se. Or this is, could you could be learning something new um, as well. Um, of uh, but this is going to bring the abundance in. This is definitely bringing in some abundance of this new skill if you allow yourself to learn something new. All right, the sun energy. Yes, sunstone, sun energy. All right. The sun energy is definitely positive. It's definitely that youthfulness, but you staying focused and moving forward, and um, and and you definitely um, allowing spirit to to guide you and to move you. All right, to move you. Um, it doesn't look like he has the. Um, I don't know what you call it, but it's not in the water. It looks like it's on the boat, and it, he's just coasting along because he trusts everything that is it, that is there. But then that is that. Um, this is the. Um, this is Ra, the Egyptian god, and um, this is definitely tapping in with him with this sun energy um, coming in um, with uplifting you. And, and bringing that passion in as well and this and it's very positive the eight of coins is 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 getting back into learning something new um, or or as you learned this new thing with the three of coins because this is the eight of coins this is you putting that hard work in to make it work and to um, to understand that uh, sometimes what's going on around you, you can't dis be distracted on the outside and you are now staying focused on, um, building your financial, um, um, abundance, your ability, your uh, stability, your security, you're, you're building that. So this is you, um, recognizing that hard work and learning all over again of 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 this new gift this new skill this new talent of you pursuing and this is an eight of coins so this is definitely definitely about the um the the finances <laughs> for this particular uh crystal if you pick this one the queen of swords the queen of swords is definitely i look i don't take no mess but you know i am a little patient but i do this gracefully and I do this on point, but I know what it absolutely takes to make, um, to put in all of that hard work and, and to know that I had to surrender and I had some compassion, but the other ones didn't listen to me and I had to do what I had to do, but I still fought and, and you are a fighter. You are a person that's going to keep moving forward. And, and to know that if I have to, I do what I got to in order to get where I need to get in a positive way. Not anything negative, but in it in a positive way. You have the three of cups. Celebration is upon you. Celebrate your friends. Celebrate some new relationships that you are going to be having and even meeting. You know, because that you have let go of the old and now you are here with some with a new group of folks that uplift you um but definitely make sure that you are healthy make sure you are surrounding yourself with folks that um um that support you and love you um and and want you to win all the way okay um the page of wands i love it this is like that new discovery that uh, free spirited, but so youthful, like, like you ready to, 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 to go forward, but you are going to be receiving some, um, information to go forward, uh, and to help you go. And this is going to be a, a, a time where you're going to be praising, praising 
um, that that information that you receive and to to continue to move forward and for you to stay focused on that. Okay. And this is about looking towards the future. This is looking towards, um, uh, longevity for you. Okay. And then you have the Knight of cups, the Knight of cups is definitely, um, you know, saying, look, I, I'm, I can, I can do this. I know I can do this and I'm no, I'm protected. And I'm ready for this. I, you're so confident when it comes to the Knight of Cups. Um, super confident of what, uh, knowing that you are supported and that nothing is going to knock you down or knock you over, per se, this on the horse. Um, but, like, you know there's treacherous water out there, and yet you are still ready to go forward and that is awesome because you are being guided and protected and the ego is here the ego to me represents god and and he is protecting you okay career transition okay when it comes to that's that most likely that ace of pentacles okay um, but I also feel that with the, with the, with the, uh, three of coins and the ace of coins, um, you are definitely, and you got it twice. <laughs> this is Archangel Shamu. Your life purpose is triggering a, a blessed career change. So this is also part of the discover your life purpose. This is going to determine where you want to be, what you want to do. So it, it, what's hidden at your heart what do you feel your heart desires is telling you of what you should be doing and work in that move in that because now it doesn't become work it literally becomes um what you're supposed to be doing and your purpose your mission all right and you are you are definitely um with with happens is once you discover what your life purpose is ask your archangels ask spirit when go into meditation and, and ask that um what is it that you love to do what is your hobbies what what would you rather do besides sitting in an office all day or or doing whatever you're doing all day what do you rather be doing and that is going to trigger a a, a abundant type of business for you okay or whatever if it's business or if it's like a new you know, working in a new department or whatever it may be. Beloved one, Archangel Shamu, he's, he's hanging out with you. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. See, I told, I, I knew it was about that togetherness for some that is trying to figure out what, who their soulmate is. And, and on top of that spirit is like, look, let me, let me help you. And I'm, I'm going to help guide you together. But first, I need you to stay focused on uh, you right now. And everything else is going to fall into play. All right. And last but not least, clear your space. Archangel. Uh, uh, Archangel. Jophel. Get rid of clutter. <laughs> Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, use and use front fun sway. So definitely um clear your space, clear that mind, clear that clutter, declutter, clean up the the and, and once you clean up, you usher in new energy. This is allowing you not to be stuck, okay? Um this is allowing you to stay focus on being surrounded by good energy all right that being said i greatly appreciate all that has stuck through the whole uh video if not i uh thank you anyway if you haven't already please like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell um to let you know when new uploads are coming um or that are up or and when i go live um also um, I am live on Mondays for tea time and I have the weekly Zodiac. I'm also live um, on Thursdays as well, both at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until the next time, peace and blessings, gods and goddesses. And don't forget about the full moon tonight. <laughs> <laughs>